What's up, music fans of the internet? I'm Derek. And I'm Kevin. And together we're last week's album where we're bringing you the only reviews with two different views. Except this week, we're talking about the 10 bands to see at South by Southwest 2016. Cheers, Kevin, everyone at home. Cheers, Derek, and everyone at home. South by Southwest is a festival, a very large festival that encompasses. Kevin, do you want to do the background? <laughs> interactive. Uh, it encompasses film, interactive, and music. Um, film and interactive are kind of lumped together in the first week. Music is the second week. Brings in bands from all over the world. No one can drive anywhere because there's so much traffic. And uh, someone, someone special is coming in this year to make traffic even worse. Right, Derek? The Obamas! <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not sure what they're going to sing or perform, but it should be interesting. Maybe na 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 hey hey goodbye? Someone actually needs to use the band name the Obamas. I think that would be a good band name. Kevin, it would have to you'd have to have an opening act called The Secret Service. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a great roster. We're going to count down in absolutely no particular order the 10 bands we're most looking forward to seeing at South by Southwest 2016. So Kevin, why don't you start us off? Sure. First up, I've got Heinz on my list. They are a Spanish quartet with a great garage pop sound. We reviewed their debut album, Leave Me Alone, not too long ago, and uh, we gave it a collective 7 out of 10. For me, their music videos make it look like they're just having so much fun, and I think that will translate really well uh, into an exciting live show. One I'm really looking forward to seeing is the Yoppers. They're an acoustic guitar rock and trio from Colorado. We actually saw them at South by Southwest last year at a very uh, small, intimate show, which was a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to seeing them again, especially after they released their album American Man last fall, which Kevin and I both really liked. So looking forward to seeing the Yoppers again at South by Southwest 2016. I caught this drumstick at their show last year at South by. Kevin, the most impressive thing about that was the complete lack of like people around you, you, you know, trying to get that. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to fight someone. All right, Kevin, so what's next on your list? A group called My Bubba. I recently discovered them through their NPR Tiny Desk concert. Uh, and the first song they played, Dogs Laying Around Playing, really blew me away. They're a folk duo from Scandinavia. And they can do a lot with just two voices and a couple of acoustic instruments, some really great harmonies. So I think it'd be cool to check them out. All right, next on my list is Hayes Carl, a Texas-based singer-songwriter. He's coming up with an album later this year called Lovers and Leavers. And that album title, I think, is just fantastic. So I'm really excited to kind of hear some of the new material that might be on his upcoming album. Next up on mine is a, another Texas-based band, but different group. They are from Austin. They are a trio of jam rockers called Blue Healer. They've got keyboards, drums, and an upright bass situation going on. Um, I saw them live recently, just this weekend, and they were really, really great. And they've got a debut album coming out later this year. So I'm excited to see them again and see how um, the crowd at South By reacts to this great little Austin band. Nice. Well, see, I was getting really worried as you're describing yours because next on my list is also uh, an Austin-based band. Um, this one is not a trio. This one's a nine-piece. Uh, this it being Sweet Spirit. Ironically, it started out as a solo project of Sabrina Ellis. Their debut, Kokomo, was released last fall. Kevin and I both really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to seeing them play live at South by. Yeah, I've seen them a couple times, and I will always go see Sweet Spirit. Um, really good live show. Next on my list is a band called Royal Canoe. They are a six-piece indie pop band from Winnipeg and Steinbach, Manitoba, Canada. They've toured with Alt-J and Bombay Bicycle Club. In 2014, they were nominated for Alternative Album of the Year at the Juno Awards. And they have a lot of frenetic energy that I think will be really, really good live. Um, sort of this fun pop indie sound. Next on my list is Low Cut Connie. They are a rock and roll, just behemoth, kind of old school, kind of that 50s uh, nostalgia kind of rocks, but in a real sweaty uh, type uh, they released their third album, High Honey, in 2015. 
which both I, Kevin, uh, both Kevin and I really liked. After really um, digging their album, I'm really looking forward to seeing them play live. Just, um, you know, I thought the album had a lot of high energy, but I can't even imagine how that will uh, transcend in, in the live show. Next up uh, and last on my list is Iggy Pop, the godfather of punk himself. Uh, he's actually playing a show with Josh Home from Queens of the Stone Age who uh, produced Iggy's new album that's coming out soon. I've never seen Iggy Pop live before, and I feel like he's one of those bucket list kind of shows. Um, not sure when I'll get another chance to see him. I don't think he tours too much, uh, especially down here in Austin, so definitely gonna catch that one. And what's last for you, Derek? T. Hardy Morris um, and or T. Hardy Morris and the Hard Knocks. They released an album, Drowning on the Mountaintop, which Kevin and I reviewed. I really dug this. They really have this country grunge or crunge sound. I really like the heavy distorted guitars paired with um, just really country western uh, slide guitar. So I'm just really looking forward to seeing that played live. So there you have it. There are our top 10 bands to see at South by Southwest 2016. So uh, tell us which, who you're looking forward to seeing. Thanks, Dan, for joining us here at last week's album. Don't forget to subscribe to hear the channel at YouTube or the podcast. As always, I'm Derek. And I'm Kevin.